Hey guys, so today I am going to be decorating my mantle. This is the first time that I have ever done a big mantle garland. At our last house, we did have a fireplace, but there was no actual mantle, so we couldn't decorate anything anyway like this. But I'm so excited. As soon as we saw this mantle, when we were gonna move into this house, I knew exactly what I wanted it to be like for Christmas. So I've already got one garland up. This garland is from Lowe's. I saved part of the packaging so that I could show you. It is by GE, it's got 50 lights on there and it has kind of a more realistic branch um, type of feel. So I really like it. I've got it positioned how I want it already and with a little bit of draping on both sides. I made sure, here's a really good tip, I made sure to check that I was putting the plug end on the end where I was closest to an outlet so I can run an extension cord behind my television. And I used command hooks and the green, um, like the green floral ties from the Dollar Tree to secure it to the mantle. So it's super secure, it is not coming down. The thing that I am not super in love with right now is that it looks kind of bare. So what I'm actually gonna go and do, oh, these are the wire garland ties I was talking about from the Dollar Tree. Super inexpensive and very helpful for stuff like this. But what I'm gonna do is take one of these really inexpensive garlands that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was $9.99, but I bought it 50% off. It is a nine foot garland. And I'm actually gonna lay this on top of the garland I already have to thicken it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that now. Okay, so I've layered the garland on top, but now I'm gonna go in and fluff and really spread out all the branches and try and pull the lights to the front so that I can see more of my pretty garland and less of the cheap garland. If I had really been planning in advance, I would have put the cheap one on first and the pretty one on top, but they're already up and they're already exactly laying how I want them. So I'm just gonna combine them the best I can and we're gonna go do that now. Okay, so I've got the garland up. I doubled it up. It looks so much more thick and lush, which makes me very, very happy. But I wanna add more lights because I really want to be magical. This is something I also will do on my Christmas tree and I've done it for several years. And y'all, it makes it look so magical. And that is to add a second size of light. And in that case, I am going to add these string lights, which are patio lights. <clears throat> so they're rated for indoor and outdoor use. They already have the green wires, so they blend in really pretty. I always put these on my Christmas tree with the regular size lights. And at night, it just looks so, so beautiful. So I really wanna try and mimic that with the garland. So I'm gonna go ahead and string these in too. A quick tip for you, I know that they sell these at Target for Christmas in their Christmas line, but next year, or even now, check out their summer clearance area because I always pick these up on summer clearance. Save yourself a few bucks. I also buy a ton of the replacement bulbs that they have right next to them, and then you're just set. So. I'm gonna put these on now. Okay, let's see it be magical. Oh, look how pretty that looks. Yes, see? Magical, more lights. Use this trick, you will not be sorry. Okay, and now that I've got my lights in, I'm going to start adding some picks. I've got several from Hobby Lobby. I got these three from the Dollar Tree. They have a little poinsettia, pine cone, some berries. And then I got, let's see two really like intense berry sprays. Those were 5.99, dollars 
but 50% off. Then I got two of these, which have more evergreen and a light little piece of berry and some kind of different types of evergreens. And last one from Hobby Lobby is more of a berry pick with some really pretty like lighter tip greenery. And I'm gonna start plugging these in. Okay, I think I'm gonna use these like really heavy berry picks on the ends to really kind of bulk up this piece down here, make it look a little bit more finished. And to do that, I'm gonna do a very classic technique, which is to take the butt and turn it into a little hook so that I can just hook it into the garland. Okay, so I've got my base. I'm pretty darn happy with this. I think it looks very pretty, very classic Christmas. And now I'm gonna be entering into the play phase, which is going to kind of depend on what I do with my Christmas tree, which I'll be putting up later. But I wanna add in ribbon. And I also picked up these poinsettias from the Dollar Tree. They have kind of a velvety texture. So maybe a few of those could be pretty. Um, I also have bought a considerable amount of velvet bows. I am in love with these this season. So I think also some bows could be very charming. Or I could do some classic like weave, um, weaved in ribbon. I've got this, which I shared in a haul. It's got kind of like a subtle pattern. I think this is from Michaels. And I also have this really gorgeous emerald, even darker than emerald, really like a hunter green velvet. That could be very pretty. I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep playing around because I do have these hunter green candles, which I'm gonna be putting in brass candlesticks on either side of the mirror, so I'm for sure using these. Is that too much hunter green? I don't know, so I'm gonna play around. I'm probably not going to post, I'm not gonna film um, the whole playing around process because I'm not doing my tree until maybe a few days later. So I'm gonna post this as is, but I would love to know what you guys think. Should I do ribbon? Should I do poinsettias? What color ribbon? I'm curious to know what you guys think. And, oh, trying to do too much, too excited. I am so excited though that this is my first Christmas decorate with me. I am so pumped to get the rest of the house done and do the tree. I've got some really cool DIYs coming up. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload, especially Christmas time. You guys, I'm obsessed. You're not gonna wanna miss out. So make sure that you follow along and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Colorful Megan for more day in the life behind the scenes fun stuff, especially holiday themed fun stuff. It is all coming out for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.